What are marginal environments and why should we worry about them? Marginal environments are the areas of the world where there are serious biophysical constraints and where people face major socioeconomic barriers to their livelihoods. In biophysical terms, marginal environments are often characterized by poor soils, inadequate quantity and quality of water, and unfavorable climatic conditions for sustainable agricultural production. These environmental changes are exacerbated by economic and social problems facing communities living in these areas, such as absence of or difficult access to markets, poor infrastructure, restrictive land tenure, and the limited role of rural women in decision-making, among many others. Being already poor in good land and water resources, marginal environments also face a double whammy of degradation of these scarce resources including soil fertility decline and salinization and growing pressure on them due to population growth and climate change, among other things. So why should we worry about marginal environments? Well, first, because by one estimate, some 1.7 billion people live there, including 70% of the extremely poor. And many of them are smallholders and depend on farming for their food and income. But climate change and other factors are putting their livelihoods at risk. Every day, these people deal with a wide range of challenges to their food and water security. This is why we at the International Center for Biosaline Agriculture, based in the United Arab Emirates, focus our research for development efforts specifically on helping these vulnerable communities. Our scientists identify, test, and introduce climate-smart crops and resource-efficient technologies in different regions. We have been helping to improve food security and livelihoods for thousands of smallholder and marginal farmers, from Africa to the Middle East to Central Asia. We equip smallholder and marginal farmers with stress-tolerant crops, such as quinoa and pearl millet, and skills to grow them so that they are better prepared for climate change-related risks. To tackle water scarcity, we promote resource-efficient technologies like small-scale irrigation and the use of saline water and treated wastewater for food, feed, and biofuel production. Through our climate change modeling and downscaling work, we help decision-makers address climate change effects on water and agriculture. We have also advised policymakers in many countries on agriculture, food, salinity, and water management strategies. All this work feeds into our vision of sustainable livelihoods, jobs, and food security for all people who live in marginal environments. If we want to meet the ambitious targets of sustainable development goals and make sure that nobody is left behind, we must help these communities produce more with less, earn more, and sustain their livelihoods.